Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744, guys. Today, guys, we do my Euro 2024 predictions, guys. We're going to go ahead and do this, guys. Um, like I said, guys, the Euros is coming around very soon, guys, in around 10 days' time at the time of recording this. So it should be very exciting, man. I'm looking forward to Euros, guys. Of course, you guys know on the AD744 channel, of course, I'll be doing consistent coverage on the channel, you know, doing your match reactions live streams your predictions all that good stuff all the analysis you guys want so if you guys want that euro coverage stay subscribed to this channel guys for the most consistent for the consistent euro coverage so let's go ahead and do this man i'm going to do my group by group breakdown preview and i'm going to zoom this in a bit because it's a bit small so uh yeah let's let's do this man let's do this so uh let's do this man so let's start with group a guys so top of the group guys i miss germany Germany, for me, have too much quality. They should top this group. I mean, you have the likes of uh, Florian Wurz, Jamal Musiela. You have, like, there's so much talent in this team. Ta, Rudiger, Neuer. Like, I mean, the, th the team is stacked, man. Nagelsmann, he's done a great job with the team. The team is now found with his consistency, found his form. And I think Germany's going to do well in the Euros. I think they'll do well in the Euros, and I see them going very far. Second in the group I have is uh, Hungary. I think Hungary, for me, is a solid nation. I've been really impressed with what Marco Rossi has done with the team. The team has now been amazing. They have been playing well against like, the big teams like France, England, Portugal. you got to give them that. And for me, Hungary, for me, I think they'll finish second in this group. I think they'll finish second in pl place in this group, man. Shobos Lai comes to mind as well. Sali, you know, Kirkes. There's so much talent in this uh, Hungary team. And I wouldn't be surprised that Hungary can get a result against Germany. Maybe Hungary could even top. But I, I think Germany will top just because you know, they're at home, the home atmosphere, and I, I think that's going to be the reason. Third in the group I have, it is Switzerland. I think Switzerland, for me, they always do well in the tournaments. They always do well. And sure, maybe in the qualifiers, they kind of got here a bit kind of, maybe you could say a bit fortuitous. But at the end of the day, it's just about qualifying the day, and I think they're going to turn up. You know, I think they're going to turn up like the likes of Xhaka, Sommer. These two players are amongst the best in the world right now in Europe. So for me, I think Switzerland will get third place in the group. And unfortunately, I do have Scotland to finish last because I just think Scotland, for me, they just don't have enough quality compared to the other three nations. And I feel like they're too reliant on Scott McTominay for the goals, which kind of worries me in a group like this. Moving to Group B, guys, right here, we got uh, top of the group for me, Spain. Spain, without question, is top of the group. There's way too much talent in the Spain team. You have the likes of Yamal, you have the likes of Kubarsi, the likes of um, Pedri, you know. Carvajal as well. Like the Spain team is stacked. Spain should for me should top this group. Second place in the group, I have it is second is really tough. Second is really, really tough, guys. It was between Croatia and Italy for me. And I'm very much torn. I could see this going either way. But I ended up going with Italy just because Italy, um, they always typically do well in the Euros. And I feel like Italy for me, they're a solid team. I really like this Italy team, you know. And Borella is amazing. You have the light, um, you have, you know, you have Donnarumma as well, you know. But the issue with Italy is just, is there enough quality? That's the issue with Italy. And so I feel like they'll do well. Italy historically always do well, but maybe they might finish third in this one. I'm not sure. But third, I have is Croatia. Croatia for me, they've never made it to quarterfinals ever in the Euros history. It's so sad. And they always done so well in the World Cup, but not in the Euros. Can it be there? Can, it, can this year be the year they make the quarterfinals? You know, I like the players like Croatia have, you know, the likes of uh, Modric, uh, Vardial, uh, Framridge as well. But my issue with Croatia is I just don't know where the goal is coming from. I just don't know where the goal is coming from. And that's my big issue with Croatia. So for me, I think Croatia will finish third. And then Albania for me, I'm sorry to say, I think Albania will finish last. I think Albania for me, as good as the qualifying campaign was, just like Scotland, I feel like this is too hard for them. Too hard for them in a group like this magnitude. And I feel so bad because they were the pot two team for the draw. So they theoretically should have got a kind draw. But, you know, they were screwed over. And that's just how it is. That's the luck of the draw. You know, players that got four for this uh, Albania, Albania team are obviously Aslani. Then obviously you got Strakosha, Borja. And obviously their coach, you know, has done a fantastic job with the team. And the team just scores bangers. Uh, group C, I got England top of the group. England, without question, should top this group. They have way too much quality. You have the likes of Kane. You have the likes of Palmer. You have the likes of Bellingham. You have the likes of. Walker, I mean, this England team is stacked, man. England should go very far in this tournament. Second in the group I have it is Slovenia. I think Slovenia will do second place. I know that might surprise some of you guys and say, why are you picking them second? Shouldn't you be picking Denmark or Serbia? 
I think Slovenia for me, they're they're on the rise. They're on the rise, and this is the first year in a very long time. I think they'll do it. I think they'll play really well. And I just have a feeling they're gonna do it, man. I just have a feeling they're gonna do it, guys. I have a feeling they'll do it. And I think they'll squeeze through in second place. You know, players like All Block comes to mind, Sesco, Elisage as well coming back. Um, and yeah, I just think they'll do it. And the third for me, I have Denmark. I just don't really trust the Denmark team whatsoever. And even though Denmark for me um, do have some good players like Ericsson, Hoyland, I feel like this Denmark team is really starting to decline. There's not that many quality players as uh, before, and I feel like Denmark for me is going to finish third. So, and I, one thing I forgot to mention is that Slovenia and Denmark were in the same Euro qualifying group, and Denmark did manage to get four points. Just saying. Um, and the Serbia for me, I like the Serbia team, but for me, they're way too unbalanced. There's too much attacking talent in this team, but there's not enough defensive nor midfield talent, and I think that's going to cost them over, and that's why I have them finish last. And the Group D, for me, top of the group is France. France have way too much quality to not top this group. Too much quality. Likes of Mbappe, the likes of Griezmann, likes of Dora, likes of Magnon. Like, France just are so insane. They should top this group without question. Uh, the second place in the group, I actually have is Austria because i really been impressed with Austria under Ralf Rangnick. I think they've done a fantastic job as a team. They really cultivate that midfield. That's what makes them so strong in the defense. And sure, the goal scoring isn't that great. But they're so organized, so well-structured. That's what gives me hope for this Austria team. And I think Austria could be a dark horse in this year's Euros. I haven't finished second place. And the third in the group I have is Netherlands. I think Netherlands, for me, they have a very good team on paper. You have the likes of Van Dijk, De Litt. You know, you have um, you have Madsen as well, I believe. Or actually, did Madsen get selected? I'm not sure if he did. Uh, Frankie De Jong uh, Frank has been amazing. But the issue for Netherlands is, for me, that attack. That attack is just not that great. And I just feel like for Netherlands, they're just really unconvincing under Ralph Koeman. I just don't have the same faith. Um, and I just feel like Ralph Ragnar, for me, is a better manager than um, Koeman. So for that reason, I have Austria finish second. But, you know, the Netherlands could definitely finish second. I wouldn't be surprised. And then for me, Poland, for me, I'm sorry to say Poland's just the worst team. They they just don't have enough quality to compete. Um, yes, they have Lewandowski at Chesney, but I just feel like for me, for Poland, they're just simply not good enough. I think they're very mediocre. And I'm sorry to say, I think Poland will be very bad in this year's Euros. Uh, group E, I actually have Ukraine, which may come as a surprise to top this group. You know, some people might be surprised, but I really do genuinely believe Ukraine's going to do this. I think Ukraine, what the, what they've done over the last couple of years to cultivate, you know, and I feel like Ukraine's really building something special. I really like this Ukraine team. They're doing so well as a unit. You know, Dobrik's been amazing. Shankovic has been great. Zinchenko. That the, the, the Ukraine's been so solid, guys. And I think Ukraine's, for me, even though Belgium are the heavy favorites and more people would lean towards Belgium to top, I, I don't trust Belgium's defense. I don't trust Belgium's defense whatsoever. And as good as our attacking quality players are, like KDB, Debra, uh, Lukaku, Doku, Josar, Onana, the defense is very weak. And that's why I don't trust about Belgium. And for that reason, I have them finish in second place. I still feel like they're way too good. Their team is way too stacked to finish third or fourth, but they should at the very least get second. But I just think Ukraine for me are just a better defensive team than Belgium, and I think Ukraine's going to uh, Ukraine's going to top. At the third for me, I actually got uh, Slovakia, which may uh, it was tough for me between Romania and Slovakia because they're kind of so similar. But I think Slovakia for me they just edge it because they have been in the Euros before, and you know. This is their, uh, I think, their second Euros in a row they were there here. You know, look what they did in the last Euros. They were fantastic. And yes, I know they got groups and everything, but they still managed to beat Poland. And they still gave a good game to uh, Sweden. Okay, I know they Spain obliterated them, but they were still good in the last Euros. And Romania and Slovakia, for me, obviously players like Milan Skriniar comes to mind. And obviously you got uh, Lobotka as well, Zubraka. I just think Slovakia, for me, they're a good team. And yeah, and for Romania, as I said, I don't really rate this Romanian team very highly. I feel like they're very defensive, and a group like this, while they may be good for them, they need to get the goals. They need to get the goals. And that's what worries me more about this Romanian team, because Raxson is great, Haji as well, but they need that goal scores, man. They need those guys to step up in the final third. Uh, group F, guys, top of the group for me is Portugal. Portugal, without question, should top of this group. I mean, do I even need to name the Portugal players? Like, you have Ronaldo, you have, you have Bruno Fernandes, who's been amazing. I love you have Ruben Diaz, you've got Pepe, you have Diogo Costa. Like, the Portugal team is stacked. They should definitely top. Second place in the group, I actually have is Turkey. I think Turkey, for me, is a very unpredictable nation. You never know what you're going to get with Turkey. But I do think Turkey, for me, 
have enough quality to put it, come through in second place. You know, I like the likes of Sean Nahu. I like the likes of Guler. I like the likes of Demerol. It's just Turkey is so weird at times because I feel like sometimes it could be so good, sometimes it could be so bad. But I do think they have enough quality to finish second because for me, guys, I don't really rate Czech Republic or Georgia that highly. I thought it's really tough. But I ended up going to Czech Republic because, you know, they have more experience. You know, they've always done well in the Euros. But the weird thing with Czech Republic is that they do well in the Euros and the following years they get grouped. So it's kind of like a cycle. So if we're going by that cycle, they should get grouped theoretically. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Czech Republic for me, players look out for obviously Schick, obviously Kovar, you know, Suchek as well. But yeah, I, I think Czech Republic is just regressing. They're not as good as they used to be. And I think Georgia for me, they're making their debuts at the Euros. So we'll see if they can manage to pull any points here. I think that'll be a fantastic achievement if they can get any points in this group. But yeah, let's be real for Georgia. This is a tall, tall task for them. You know, players like Kovarska have to turn up. You know, their goal here at March really needs to turn up. And yeah. Okay, now let's go and do the third place teams, guys. Let's predict which third place teams I have advanced. So I, I got Switzerland to advance. I think they'll be one of the best third place teams. I got Croatia to advance. I think they'll do it. I got Denmark and I got Netherlands. So that means Slovakia and Czech Republic, I both of them getting grouped. My explanation is that I think Switzerland, they always do well in group stage. They're going to get four points, as I expect. I think Croatia, for me, are way too good to get grouped. And Denmark, even though I'm not sold on Denmark, it was really between Denmark and Czech Republic for me. But I ended up feeling, I feel like Denmark for me are just a better team than Czech Republic, even still, because their defensively are still decent. And Netherlands for me, I think, are too good. And yeah, I think Slovakia are just too, I think, they're, they're the worst uh, third place team of the bunch. And yeah, I just think Denmark for me, as bad as, as underwhelming as they are, defensively, they're generally solid. So that's why I have them to finish. That's why I think they'll be one of the best third place teams. Okay, so now let's go through the round of 16, guys. So this point on, I'll probably speed through, guys, and um, just make this quick, quick and concise. So, Germany versus Slovenia. Germany have should be beating Slovenia. Hungary versus Italy. I actually have Hungary to triumph here. I'm going to go with an upset. I feel like you're, you're always you're going to see one upset in the round of 16, and I think this is going to happen. Uh, Spain versus Switzerland. I got Spain to win. England versus Netherlands. I think Netherlands is with the Netherlands just isn't good enough to beat England. Portugal should beat Denmark. Austria versus Belgium. I'm actually going with Austria on this one because even though Belgium are the heavy favorites, I think Austria for me are very uh, a good solid nation. And I know Belgium did get the better of them the qualifiers. But I feel like in a tournament setting, Austria is going to do it. And you know, with Belgium, they typically just support. So I'm going to go with Austria to do this. They're going to make the quarterfinals. I think Ukraine versus Croatia, this is a tough one to call. This one could go either way. But because I have a feeling this is going to end in a draw, I have Croatia to advance. Because you guys know if it pinches on pens, Croatia will advance on pens. You, just, you guys just know it. So, yeah, I, I think I think if Croatia is going to win this, it'll be on pens. I don't see them winning extra time. Well, maybe extra time is possible, but I don't see them winning in 90. I think Ukraine will win on 90. So if it ends in 90 minutes, Ukraine will probably win. But if it ends like an extra time or pens, I'll probably give it to Croatia. And I just kind of unsure about this one. So that's why I just went with Croatia. But, you know, Ukraine could definitely do this. And France was a Turkey. France should do this. Okay. Now we move on to the quarterfinals. We have, oh, wow. We have, look at the quarterfinals we got here, guys. Germany versus Spain is fantastic. Let's save that one for last, guys. Let's do Portugal versus Austria. I think this is where the road ends for Austria. Um, as much as I want to see Austria do this, I think Portugal, for me, have too much talent, so they should be able to get through. Um, then France versus Croatia. I got France to do it. I think Croatia is, this is where the road ends for Croatia. I want Croatia to do it, but I think it's too much. And I think for Croatia, getting to a quarterfinals is a fantastic achievement, so I think you should be happy with that. England versus Hungary. I think England is going to do it. And then for the final matchup, guys, Germany versus Spain. It's a difficult one to call, guys. A difficult one to call. But because it's in Germany, guys, I have to go with Germany. I have to go with Germany. Because Germany, for me, I just think they're better than Spain. I, I feel like if Germany can click on their day, they could be a better team than Spain. So this is a close one. This could go either way. But I have Germany just to edge through. And uh, then semifinals, guys. Or Germany versus Portugal. What a semifinal that is. That is a fantastic semifinal matchup. And that's a really hard one to call, but I have to go with Germany. Germany, for me, are better than Portugal. That might come as a controversial opinion, but I feel like Germany, for me, are more well-balanced. And sure, Portugal may have the better team on paper and everything. I think Germany is more balanced, more cohesive. They have a better manager than Nagelsmann. I rate Nagelsmann higher than Roberto Martinez, and that's why I have Germany to advance. At the France versus England, this is a tough one to call. We saw how France were able to get the better of England. But honestly, I thought England were the better team in that game. France, was, or France were great in the game, let's be real. But the goals that France scored were just amazing goals. Amazing, amazing, wonderful goals. 
I think England, for me, they have strengthened, they have, they have improved, and I think this is where England can make a major step in their history and beat a big nation, a big, big one, and I think they can beat France. I think they're going to do it. It's going to be close, guys. It's going to be close, but I have England to do it. And then for the final, guys, this is going to be a great final. An amazing final, indeed. Uh, it's a hard one to call, guys. It's a hard one to call. But I feel like if Germany make it this far, they can't lose the final. They can't lose the final. They don't want to let what France... Remember how France lost the final at home? Germany didn't want to make that same mistake. So I have to go with Germany. But let me just say this right now, guys. If England makes the final and play against any other nation in the final, I think they'll win it. But I think England will lose the final this against Germany. Because I feel like Germany, for me, at home soil, Germany have to win it. Germany have to win it. I can't predict Eng- I can't predict Germany to lose the tournament on home soil. I just can't. I don't have that in me. But let me just say this right now. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. But whatever the case may be, it should be a good final, guys. 14% of people predicted Germany to win. Uh, and it's actually the third most picked after France and England, which makes sense, which makes sense. So I hope you guys did enjoy this prediction video, guys. It's, cool. it's you know, it's been fun everything. I picked some upsets, you know. I had some interesting matchups. So if you guys did enjoy, remember, guys, to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and like to be if you did enjoy, I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to do the football predictor and also the Euro, uh, Euro, Euro predictor on the official website if you guys want to do that. And yeah, man, much appreciated and peace out, guys.